Hi there, sign of Aquarius. Hope that you're doing really good. Let's get into your reading. I provide a channel for your spirit guides and your angels to let you know what messages are for you. And I believe my spirit team or, you know, my guides are going to help um, guide you to through the cards. Um, so let's see what good messages we have for you. Nine of Wands in the reverse as the underlying issue. It's a message to never give up. Never stop believing, never give up. Yeah. Past energy. Two for the outcome. Okay. Temperance energy, you definitely have um, divine timing here. Uh, unwinding, unwinding, you have your angel team helping you. Everything uh, gets worked out in the end. Tempering metal is to remove impurities from it. So if we're tempering a, a situation, then we're thinking of all the possibly negative things that we have to remove um, in order to, well, see our confidence, our strength, since that is the challenge card, strength. Having the strength and the confidence to believe in yourself and I think they're saying you need to have that confidence because you do have a whole team of spirit helping you at all times. Lots of things are challenging, but there can be um, resolve or a resolution here. So Aquarius, I have the two of cups in the reverse and that is a feeling of the heart of the matter. So at the heart of the matter, we feel like people come, we feel like people go. That's what kind of happens in life is you have new partnerships formed all the time. Sometimes this is in work. Sometimes this is a love partnership. Um, sometimes things worked for a little while in a partnership that are just simply not working anymore. And um, that, that can be at the heart of the matter what's going on. The magician energy in the reverse, the past, is, well, it's not really tapping into your full potential, in a sense. It's not realizing um, what you have to work with. Sometimes what we have to work with is not what we need, like this guy right here. So, th at that point, we have to recognize what we need and then find that. It might be something different than what you've used in the past, as this um, energy is feeling like. The Page of Pentacles is in the reverse um, with... It's with a, a person, well, on the card, there's a person trying to shove a pentacle in a book and close it, right? Uh, I feel like this is saying, if you've always done something a certain way and it's not giving you the results, then here is this new investment. Invest in yourself. Invest in the things that make you feel good, that bring about good change for you and for others, and you'll be wildly successful. And I think that's, you know... What that page of pentacles means 
the three of wands in the reverse. It is the card that represents how you're feeling. There is a feeling of like, I really need to expand. I would like to grow and I would like to get to where I envision myself going. That's that energy. The thing is though, with this card being in that position, if you're not looking up, then you might miss the things that you have been waiting to go towards as what you're wanting is always coming towards you. So you have, that's why it's important to be aware. Sometimes it's just the little steps that pop up that will lead you to where you're going. And I think that's what your spirit team is trying to tell you to notice here. Here, let's do this. All right. Uh, the Seven of Pentacle energy is um, here with appreciation, gratitude, feeling like, okay, it's, it might be, there might be something that I have to do a little bit differently, and that's okay, and we can work on that. Having patience with yourself, looking around at the things that we do have and saying, I'm so glad I have that. I'm so glad I have this. Counting your blessings, being appreciative. Thank you. I heard it is the most powerful prayer out there. Judgment is in the reverse for this future position here, Aquarius. It, it has to do with letting go of things that maybe we've been judging harshly on ourselves which could reflect in us judging harshly on others. Um, it's all as within, so without. it's all there. It's all part of this one of everything. So if you see something bad in you, or if you feel like there's something not good in you, then you're gonna end up seeing things that aren't good in others. And so it's really important, really important to love yourself, to fix the things that you can fix, to recognize cycles and patterns when they're not doing so great. So the, so is to know that you can change them, right? Hope or fear, there's somebody coming back in the picture of the Eight of Cups in reverse, kind of like all worn out, but in their hand is the key. No matter how much it rains or it pours, you can walk back. There might be a lot to fix, but you can always walk back. Um, so the Eight of Cups is really talking about a comeback for you. And maybe we're wanting that, and maybe at the same time we're fearing that. And that um, sounds confusing, but we oftentimes have those emotions at the same time. You know, um, and, and, and really that's kind of like it's kind of coming into this reading as doubt. So when you can't decide here as far as to, should I go back? So this energy is saying, should I go back? It is saying that there might be a return. There might be fixing and remodeling. There may be you going back to an area that needs um, renovations. The Two of Pentacles here in the reverse is simply, uh, with the Hierophant here, is, is simply much needed change on some traditions or some things that we value. Um, when you put higher value on something, than other things, and obviously that's judgment in some sense. And you could take that really literal, and trust me, you'll drive yourself crazy if you do that. But there's no need to get rid of the things that did work. Sometimes there are things that do work, and we keep those. Um, there's also times of great change, and it sometimes looks darkest before the dawn, but it, it too will be okay. And it, too, is going to balance out here in the end. Because in the end, it all really mattered. 
So don't give up. That's what I've got. That's your main message here. So let's get um, let's get you. Oops. Some crying cards, and I'll tell you my opinion on the cards instead of reading from the book. Cryon is a great channel, um, a great channel, but always uh, listen with caution, come to your own conclusion. That's what's important. Not just blindly believing something. So we take the good from what Cryon says, and let's see what Cryon has to say. Mm. There you go. This is coming across to me as judgment in the reverse, this love yourself. Because there's harsh judgments on yourself that need to be changed. You need to love who you are for everything. For the whole that you are. The pieces that are good. The pieces that you could judge as not so good. If we judge it and we exclude it, then we're not loving our whole self. So, love your whole self. Love yourself. Family forever. Family forever. I really think this is about that when people pass away, they're still in your heart. They're always there. Their energy is there. They're not gone. Their physical body might seem gone. But in your heart, that energy is there. And that's them letting you know uh, we're family forever. It's the fond memories that you can think of. It's the heart. It's in the heart. It's the love that connects the family here. I have joy energy too. Joy energy is uh, coming across as, wow, you have found a way to be very joyful. Maybe it involves loving yourself more. And like that one card was saying, uh, if you want to expand, make sure we're being aware of our surroundings and mindful so that we can let the joy in when we notice it. We might not notice it if our head is down. All right. So that is what I've got for you. A lovely Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, sending you love and light. And you are so very appreciated. Bye-bye.